What up, channel? It's 4Play, and this is iGame, episode number four. I hope that you guys liked one through three so far. These are really informative breakdowns of what I like to do and stuff. So in this video, you're going to notice, at first I want to push um, bottom wood, but I wanted to stun because I realized I switched to concussion. And we're scrimming a team called High Society. Right as I noticed we had flag control, I didn't, or a hill control, I didn't want to push and just be another body on the hill. So I rotated back alley to make sure nobody was flipping spawn. I'm using a scorpion in this. Um, I believe I have quick draw on this and extended. I, I, I really like to use the scorpion online, especially if I find myself struggling with the MSMC because it straight just melts kids, especially if you're playing on a good host or your own host. So... In this video, you're going to see I spawn up boxes. We have a pretty good commanding lead um, against a really good team. Well, I'm going to say they're a pretty good team. I, I don't want to say like they're like a top five team in the game or anything, but they're definitely a good scrim for us to get against. Right there, they did a great job of flipping spawns. I should have done a better job of staying alive. Obviously, I'm going to notice my stakes. I'm running concussion on this because I like to switch it up. Some games I'll run frags. Others I'll run concussion. It all depends on the, flat, or on the, the class I'm using. Not to mention there, um, I'm going to get a really big kill. My teammates are already rotating for the new hill. We're forcing a bottom blue spawn, but we know they're going to flood back alley as well. Back alley obviously means gas. So that means they're gas. I'm going to try to peek the corner. I know one's here because I saw him light up. I'm going to end up getting that kill. What I'm doing here is I'm trying to push inside the, the gas so I can just hold it. And now they're going to flood from the boxes. Once I see our anchor dies, I know I need to rotate and the spawn is going to be gas anyway. So I'm giving that up for someone to fill that. So I want to push up towards the anchor side of boxes. I'm going to end up getting one and then two. That's why the Scorpion's good because I normally wouldn't have got that with the MSMC. The Scorpion will meld them up close just because it was really like really close battle. So we're getting a really good hold here. In this game, I'm not going to dominate and get a lot of kills, but nobody's really going to get a lot of kills because we beat them pretty cleanly. Um, I like to upload blowouts, close games, etc. This is just one of the games that I felt we had really good rotations on. I, can, I could talk about it. You're going to notice here, I wanted to um, drop a streak here to help on my team just due to the fact that everyone was in a rotation. The reason that I delayed it and waited is because people died when I thought they were closer than they were. I'm going to end up only getting one because the guy moved from the anchor spot and they're going to spawn behind me boxes. Instead of me pushing up, I want to make sure that I help challenge him to take him out and then we can push up as a team together. A lot of teams are going to mess up, including um, um, our team used to mess up a lot. We didn't uh, rotate together. We never push together. Um, you, you always get in this mindset where like you try to break hills by yourself. And once you try to do that, it's really bad. If you wait for your team and you push a hill together, good things can happen for not only yourself, but your team as well. We're going to get a really good hold on this. I'm going to do a stun check just to make sure they're not in the playground yet. And we're still forcing a back alley or a bottom wood. Nobody's still rushing my playground. We're, we're obviously good. I'm L triggering up top just so they can't run the window. I'm probably not going to get that kill before he jumped in the window, but I wanted to make him weak. If I got the kill, that's an added bonus. You're going to notice I have a slow rotation at 20 seconds. I should have went a little bit earlier, which now I'm, I'm rotating a lot quicker than I used to. Um, with me on this team, I'm kind of like a secondary ob uh, objective, but more so like a support player. Um, and then if I go off, I honestly feel my team will never lose. Um, it's just, I guess, how it is. You know, like, like If there's a game where I'm putting up 40, and my team's normally playing really consistent, then I, I just don't think we'll lose. I want you to notice that um, that that sentry gun placement right there. I put it up top there just because I want them to spawn towards uh, bottom wood for the next hill and try to rush out bottom wood, and I'm going to end up getting the kill. You're going to see me push in here, get a lucky hit fire kill. I know that they're flooding boxes. I'm going to pre-fire that, get that kill as well. And I hear shots being fired from up top. I'm going to end up getting team killed by Lynx there. That's okay. Because sometimes that happens, especially if you're EMP'd. In this game, if you're EMP'd, it's like you're Helen Keller mode. You can't see anything. And yeah, it's what it, it, it is what it is. So I'm going to push up and L-trigger the door a little bit with a scorpion. I don't see how I died there with some hip fire more than likely. He probably had a long barrel laser or just laser on that because he definitely hit fired me and got the kill, I'm guessing. And yeah, so right here, my sentry stat kind of worked against me um, because they ended up spawning blue side. And obviously, you saw me running from the bottom wood. But I'm still going to drop the Hellstorm. I'm going to try to put it in the, the gas station. I'm going to miss him. But more importantly, I can call out he's gas station trying to flip. He's gas trying to flip. I'm going to go L wall. This is a big kill here because I know the guy's kind of far away. So I'm going to end up putting shots in him. I'm going to get the kill luckily. But he's going to spawn behind me and come from the playground because he spawned blue. A lot of the times when people spawn blue, they do a split. One of them will go towards yellow side. Another one will go front side like that guy right there, Chance. And then you're going to see um, a lot of people like to do the flip towards silver truck to the L wall behind you. So make sure you're weary on where they're coming from in every location that they're at because that's going to happen more times than none. Nobody really goes in the same direction in COD. Um, and if they do, then you're going to either get a sick clip or you're just going to get bombarded. 
There you're going to see me get another hit fire kill with a scorpion. Like I said, this gun up close is nasty. A lot of people don't like to use it. And on the land, it's not really as good as it, good as it is or good as the MSMC. But obviously, um, I believe this team was using FAL as a shotgun, so I switched to it just because I, I do like it. In that situation, it has too much recoil. You're going to notice I choked a kill. The guy had um, he had a PDW. So PDW versus Scorpion in that range, I'm going to take a PDW all day just because the, the, the Scorpion's recoil is so hard to control. Um, another situation, that guy's weak, so you're going to see me push up here. And right here, that's a situation that I wish I would have kept firing. I hate with the Scorpion. Sometimes I'll stop shooting because I think they're dead. And then I'll try to, like, reset. Like, after you get a kill, you reset right away and look to a different location. Um, another thing with the Scorpion is with the clip, you got 42 bullets. So, I mean, it's a lot of bullets. But w a lot of times you can get sick three pieces if people have to come into your location. Right here, you're going to see me uh, L-triggering towards the back alley. I'm not L-triggering. I'm just waiting towards the back alley. And I'm starting my rotation early because I don't think that they're really going to push it. There's 15 seconds left. I tried to rotate early. I see this guy down low. And then what I'm going to do here is I'm going to wait for him. I'm going to jump off, and I know he's up top. I did a breakdown video on this um, the other day, and I, this is actually the same clip. Instead of pushing back alley here, I see my teammates. They're probably going to go back alley, so I'm going to try something riskier. I'm going to L-trigger the front window, make sure he's not there, make sure that nobody's in an anchor. And if he is rotating anchor, which that guy Nifty was, I want to wait for my teammates to take him out. I'm not going to put the traditional rush towards bottom down low. I'm going to hop up the ladder, try to do everything quick. You're going to notice me slide immediately to the stairs. I'm going to look back alley because someone called it out. I got full streaks here. So now this is really big. Um, with only 35 points left that, that we need to get, I'm going to put the trophy in the window and watch how this gets two kills. They can't jump in the window because it's so close, and also it's hard for them to EMP because if they throw it, it doesn't go off the window. Or if, um, A lot of times I've seen people throw it. And it'll bounce off and not actually destroy the sentry. In fact, that's happened to me uh, when I used to run EMPs. Here, this team right now, they're trying to rotate. And it's pretty much curtains for this team. As I said in my clip breakdown, they can't really push out. I'm going to end up striking them uh, just like that. And in your hard points, I'm telling you, it doesn't matter how good a team is. If you're playing flawless and you're doing good, then that's really all that matters. So you're going to see we win 250 to 104. I'll try to get some closer games next time. Or maybe even break down some losses. I used to do a series called Dissecting a Loss. Either way, this has been 4Play from Icons Black, 4Play Gang, Team Envious a little bit. You guys are the best. Peace. What up, 4Play Gang? Hope you guys enjoyed that. I game number four. It definitely feels good to do informative breakdowns mixed in with all my other stuff that I'm doing. If you guys look in the top left, we got I game breakdown number two and then I game breakdown number four. Also, in one of the I games, it was against Fariko. It was a nasty flag return when they were Fariko, now known as Impact. So definitely check those out. Favorite, comment, like, subscribe. Get at me on Twitter. I'm talking really fast. Until next time. Take care.